Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about saving up for your car. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I've had a couple of clients who actually have a goal to save up for their first car. So they are currently living at home. However, they aren't in a position where they want to move out yet, but they do want some type of freedom. And what better freedom to have than to have your own car? So I'm gonna be giving you some tips to think about if you also want to save up for a car this year. So I thought I would share my background when it comes to saving up to buy cars. If you didn't know, my first car was actually bought in cash. I worked a part-time job, it was after my first year at university, and I ended up saving up and buying that car. And it cost me about one grand to buy the car however I didn't save for any of the other expenses I didn't save for the insurance I didn't save for any emergencies when it came to fixing up the car so when I actually got the car I ended up having to go into my overdraft because there were other things that I had to pay for that I hadn't prepared that was my first instance when it came to the car so I ended up saving for it which was good but I didn't prepare for it which wasn't that great then moving on to getting my second car at this this point I was actually working I was earning a decent income at the time didn't have that many expenses however I didn't have any savings so I could not buy my car in cash because I literally didn't have any savings whatsoever I pretty much had enough for a small deposit but I had to finance the rest and I didn't realize that my interest rate when I did take out the loan was going to be so high, I ended up paying over 11% in interest. However, this was at a point where I now started to learn more about personal finance and I made it my mission to actually pay that car off. And I ended up doing that in less than 18 months. So when it came to my third car, I actually ended up having enough savings to pay for it fully in cash. I didn't have to take out a loan. I didn't have to do any of that. I didn't have to worry about making payments because I actually had savings this time, which was great. So I feel like I'm in a good position to actually give you some tips when it comes to saving up for a car because I have done it all. I bought in cash and not prepared for it. Then I've also took it out on finance. And then I finally learned and I was able to save for it in cash but I was also able to prepare for everything else that comes with maintaining a car. So let's talk about some tips when it comes to saving up for your car. And if you're liking this video so far then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel plus it's free. Okay so if you're trying to save up for a car one of my tips would be to decide on the maximum amount that you want to pay for a car. Now what I mean by this is you want to have a good idea idea in terms of what you're working with because you want to know how much you're going to need to save. So is it going to be a 2k car or a 5k car or a 10k car? Whatever it is, just have a rough idea because you're going to be using that when it comes to actually saving. And the reason why that's important is because you don't want to get to the point where you're kind of saving all of this money, but you have no idea if you're saving the right amount. The way you would know if you're saving the right amount is actually having a good idea in terms of the cost when it comes to the car. Okay, so my second tip when it comes to saving up for a car is to not forget to factor in the other costs associated with buying a car. Now, I mentioned this earlier, but this was probably one of the biggest mistakes I made. And it was one of the reasons why I ended up going into debt. And it's because I didn't factor in the other associated costs. So when you buy a car, that's only a small part of the equation. You also need to think about things like car insurance, road coverage, and there are so many different things that could happen when you actually buy the car, especially if it is an old car. So you really wanna make sure that when you're actually saving up for that car you are also thinking about the other costs too and you're also saving up for that because that will stop you from going into debt if something happens when you actually buy the car now this is something that i also help my clients do when it comes to one-on-one -on -one money coaching i will help them actually save not only for the car itself but also to actually save for those associated costs and help them work out what they actually are so if you are interested you can book a call with me i'll leave a link in the description below for you but i think this is a point that 
that people typically don't realize is actually really important. Yes, it's great to save up for the car, but you will feel so much more at peace when you actually save for those other associated costs. So definitely make sure that you think about that step when it comes to saving up for your car. Okay, so the next tip when it comes to saving up for your car is to open a dedicated savings account just for your car. Now, the reason why I say this is because when it comes to saving, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they will just try to do everything in that one account. So they will have their spending in that account, they will have their savings in that account, and what typically happens is that they end up spending a lot of the money but they don't end up saving it and so they then get really discouraged because by the end of the month or by the end of the year they don't really have any savings so what you want to do is you want to have a dedicated savings account for the car not for anything else but literally just for the car because you will then tell yourself okay this is what i'm focusing on so i want to be able to save money and put money towards that specific goal now just to be clear i'm not saying that you should never ever have your savings and your spending in one account actually i have both in one account but that's only because i have mastered how to save money very very well if you are someone who struggles to save if you are someone who has tried to save but you end up dipping into your savings all the time then I would definitely think about having a dedicated separate savings account for your car fund because what you will then do is you will continue to learn how to actually save money in that account and then after you may get to a point where you know how to save really well and you can actually do that within your one account and the best thing is when it comes to saving money and putting it into that specific account you might find that you can do this with any other savings goal that you might have so if you're trying to buy a house and you're trying to save for that if you're trying to save for an emergency fund a wedding a holiday anything else you can actually use that same process when it comes to your other savings goals so yes you may be saving up for a car now but you probably have other goals that you want to work on in the future so definitely consider doing this step because it's not only going to help you with your car now but it's also going to help you with the other things that you want to save for later on. Now if you are someone who has decided that this is the year that you want to be able to save up for your first car you don't want to have to rely on debt you actually want to be able to have enough savings to pay for it and just buy it in cash just like that but maybe you do need some help when it actually comes to saving up for that car then make sure you do check out my one-on-one -on -one money coaching because what I can help you do is actually save for your first 5k in less than six months giving you the opportunity to actually save up for your first car very quickly so what you can do is just book a free call with me to find out more about how i can actually help you save up for that first car so i'll link that up here for you and in the description below but when it comes to buying your first car you do not have to rely on debt or financing it for you to actually buy that car in fact i realized that when i did finance my car i was more worried because i kept thinking how am i going to make these payments if I lose my job. Me actually saving up for the car in cash and not having to worry about payments actually helped me in the long run because then I was no longer worrying about making payments in case something happened to my job. So definitely consider saving up for your first car if you haven't already because honestly it can make your life a lot easier. So if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments are you planning to save up for your first car this year? I do post every Sunday now so if you want more content then make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you next week.